My dear brothers and sisters, welcome back to our series in preparation for consecration to Our Lady, following St. Louis de Montfort's true devotion. Our intention here is not to replace what the saint had already established, but rather learning together the saint's beautiful teaching and his Marian spirituality, and to encourage all of you to do the consecration to Our Lady. Following the saints and the popes, I would strongly encourage all of you who are watching right now to read this magnificent book, True Devotion by St. Louis de Montfort. The first 12, 12 days that we have just finished gives us a better understanding what is renouncement of the spirit of the world, the different temptations from the world, the flesh, and the devil the triple concupiscence of the flesh, the eyes, and pride of life, the spirit of pride and sensuality that separates us from God and Our Lady, fervent amendment of our life, and many others. In this second stage of preparation, we want to establish the importance of knowing ourselves. This is the theme we must always bear in mind as we move on in these preparations. We should humbly offer our prayers and devotions to ask the light from the Holy Spirit through the intercession of the Blessed Mother that we may see ourselves in this divine light. I remember in one of the operations of Our Lady at Fatima to the three little shepherd children, when Our Lady opened her hands, a light came forth and enveloped them and then they saw themselves in this heavenly light. How I wish to ask one of them this question. How was your soul that particular moment when you see yourselves in that divine light? How was the conversion? And how did you maintain that grace? I remember also when I was in the Philippines, when we, were, we, inv when we invited the bishop, the archbishop, to have dinner with us in our community one Saturday evening, we did the preparation of the house during the day. At about six in the evening, an hour before the arrival of the cardinal, we turned on the two chandelier at the dining area. And then the light from the chandelier makes us able to see some dirty corners. And so we did the final clean up before the arrival of the prince of the church. Now to see ourselves, to understand who we are, and how should we act befitting as God's children is our focus in this second stage preparation. We shall enter also into what is called the Christ-like perfection and be strongly convinced of our helplessness and our misery. Christ-like perfection is the way our Lord showed us by submitting himself to the hands of the Blessed Mother. This, as St. Louis de Montfort says, gives more glory to the Father than converting the whole world by performing miracles and preaching. This should be our mindset, and in fact, this is the purpose of this preparation, giving ourselves totally to Our Lady. Now, before diving into this, this second stage, we have to understand and acknowledge that we do not know everything, and we are not capable of knowing everything. There is only one whom we call the all-knowing, and that is God. In His goodness, God gives us the senses and faculties, talents and abilities. But even that, we still cannot have the full knowledge of everything, more so in ourselves and in our spiritual life. And so, in this preparation, beginning today, is the knowledge of self, to be followed by the knowledge of Mary and then the knowledge of Jesus. Now, to gain knowledge is the result of learning and does not end up after these seven days. Knowledge of self is a grace that makes us respond correctly. It can also change our behavior resulting from learning experience. This is what we want, a change resulting from knowledge of self. I want you, me included, to put this in our mind to help us attain our goal for the next seven days. I am a child of God, created in his, in his image and likeness. What is it 
and what are those things that really veil and disfigure this divine image imprinted in our soul. So we beg Our Lady for the divine light through prayers, reflections, and acts of renouncement of our own will so that we will reach our goal for this week.